otherwise you wouldn't have been able to hear that. <laughs> I appreciate you being the translator. Okay, are we ready to get team number three up on stage? Team three, where are you? Hello. They're coming up. They're coming on stage. And presumably, they're going to be playing some Splatoon 3. So we're going to be playing some Splatoon 3. Hello, lovely to meet you. I'm Elliot, what's your name? Tash. Tash? Lovely to meet you, Tash. Have you played Splatoon 3 much? A lot. A lot? It's only been out two weeks. Yeah, I've nearly done over 100 hours. Whoa, okay! Hey! We heard from Valentino before he'd done 75. He was very proud of that. But you are the team captain there, Sash. That's what I'm hearing. I I'm not. That's Dottie. Ooh, Dottie! So we need to talk to Dottie. I'm going to swing around here. Dottie, you can't get away from the microphone. How Are you, are you confident? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hey! 100%! Yeah. So you're definitely going to beat the Nintendo Live yeah. team. That's what I'm she should be confident. I've seen her play before. <laughs> oh, goodness. So your reputation precedes you here. Apparently so. Okay, well, what's your favourite weapon? What are we going to see? Uh, Splatoon 3, the 52 gal. The 52 the... Yeah. What's you the know what? Do you know what weapon I hate the most? <laughs> the 52 gal. The 52 Actually, I think it's gal. technically a 0.52 gal, but let's not get into wow, decimals. Wow, okay. All right, Alex is nitpicking now. All right, guys, I'm going to let you all get set up. Instead of distracting you much longer, everyone pick, pick a setup and give them a round of applause as they prepare to take down our big bag. Time for everyone to ready up. As soon as you picked your weapon, of course, please don't let us rush you. And it seems that the controller is behaving. Well, hey, we love to see it. No tech issues. Alex, yes. I want to ask you because you changed strategies there. In game one, we saw you were playing the anchor of your team, right? Trying to get as much ink over your home base, but it wasn't working out for you, and you said that you went more aggressive there, and that worked. So are we going to see that again here in the third round? I'm going to try aggression this time, but of course, you have to change your strategies depending on the team. That's very true. Adaptability, like we learned from Valentino. Absolutely, yes. Adaptability in a moment's notice is the key to Splatoon 3. And it's all I about I just made that up, I don't even know what I'm saying. Well, you said before that it's all about movement, right? And if you have good movement, then you're adapting. It's all about the inking, and you have to be able to adapt, because as much as anything, more than any other shooter I've ever played, the terrain is constantly changing. That's if right, it's, yeah. If it's standard ground, you can walk over it fine. If it's your ink, you can swim through it super fast. If it's enemy ink, you're going to be slowed down to a crawl. So the environment is constantly changing and you have to adapt Dang. with that. And you can actually be splatted whilst you're under the ink as well. It's very dangerous. So I, was, I thought I was safe. Dive down into the ink, swimming along, I'm pretending I'm the shark from Jaws. And then suddenly splat. Not safe at all. Ruined it for me. Ruined it for my team as well. Because I didn't is get a single one. using a height of splat leg I see? Oh! And it is broken out very aggressively here at the outset of round one. Let's go! Give it up for the contenders. They are going to bring it together. The team in purple off to a very, very strong start. And of course, it does not matter how many players you splat, just how much turf you are able to get covered in your colour ink. And at the end of the timer, the team with more ink on the ground will be victorious. Tried the ink jet, it didn't work. You've always got to be trying out new strategies, though. That's the booyah ball. Everyone's got to spam booyah, oh. and it makes it bigger. Just like real life. Just like real life. Everyone sounds booyah, and it makes the explosion larger. The light team trying to bring it back here. It's very disconcerting knowing oh. several of the players and how they play. But I don't know who's who, because everyone's merely player number. Everyone's very stealthy. And we saw from that map overview, that aerial view, that the 
Nintendo Life are bringing this back much closer. These last 60 seconds are going to be very, very interesting. Whoa, that is neck and neck! It's very close. I've asked them to do it before, I'm going to ask them to do it again. Make some noise, give them your energy, help them beat this Nintendo Life team! And it's working. The purple team establishing just a tiny bit more ground. Wow. The closest game we've witnessed on stage at the EDX Live Arena. Get too involved. Oh, there we go. Oh, we're nearly there as well. That is huge. That was Alex. It was so close in the middle of the game. What happened? They pushed at the right time and they managed to break into our base while we were respawning, oh. which meant we couldn't fight back with equal force. Oh, hey. So hey. it's about splatting. It's about adaptability. It's about movement. <coughs> and it's also about timing. Timing is everything in Splatoon 3. As is everything else that I've mentioned prior. Everything is everything in Splatoon 3. Basically, it's really hard to be very good at Splatoon 3. There's a lot of factors. Very easy to pick up, very difficult to master. You should see, like, actual proper, super high-level championship play is outstanding. When you see a team that are all on voice chat, they're all playing together, they're all in sync, they all know exactly what they're doing, it's poetry. Absolute poetry. It's like no other shooter you'll ever see. Easy to learn, very hard to master. Everything you need for an incredible eSport. Ah, incredible. Incredible. Oh, Alex, stop. Oh, I say that like a game of Splatoon. Okay. It's time to do some damage. The I'm going back to the splat link. And we're on. They're riling up the crowd on their own. A brand new map. Blue versus orange. Blue, our heroes. Orange, the baddies. <laughs> a bit of a conservative start here. Lurking in the shadows. Underneath. Waiting for a chance to pounce. Come on, you blues! And zero coughs as well. Everyone just lays it in. They're on a telepathic uplink. They can all hear each other up here. <laughs> oh, oh. Trisuka. Trisuka making a mockery of me. A huge splat there. Alex, did you change weapon again? I'm back on the splatling this time. Oh, he's gone back to his roots. The splatling gun. Oh, and it's a slight lead. My colorblind eyes don't deceive me. To our contenders. Holding the line midfield. Do 
of Big Baddies. What do you think? Can the challengers do it? Yeah! yeah! That's what we like to hear. Oh, and look at that. The crowd giving the energy to the challenging team and it is working out a show. Wide area, but it's quite short. 
Okay. So if you just want to pop out of the, you're right by someone, you just go bam, bam, they're dead. The slosher, you can be surprisingly far away. You just got this bucket, whoosh, just goes, you throw the bucket of water. The sniper rifles of buckets. Yes, that is exactly as it's described in game. I, 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 I feel like you're trolling me, but I'm hoping. I'm going to hold out hope. No one tell me otherwise, okay? I wish it was. It would be um, thoroughly entertaining. We have our fourth and final set of competitors up on stage to take on our Nintendo Live team. What do you think, guys? Are they going to be able to do it as well? Yeah! Oh, I love that. I love that. And what do we think about our Nintendo Live team taking out the kids that we had earlier? <laughs> <laughs> Not very nice. So Elliot, well, before we get into the next game, just very quickly, what's your favourite weapon that you've seen so far? Oh, do you know what? Is this still the roller? I, th I think it's still the roller. The splat roller that Libby was using earlier. She was having so much fun with it. No way near anyone just rolling around painting the ground. That is, that's my cup of tea right there. <laughs> it's a very good weapon. We're in game. Our team of contenders <laughs> with the orangey red colour I think. And the teal blue of our Nintendo Life team. Just like Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah. I believe that's slightly more free. <laughs> and not a Splatoon game. <laughs> Who doesn't have a bit of Zelda thrown in for no reason? Frankly, I think this is the first stream I've been a part of where I haven't included an interesting fact about language. Well, we have to put you on the spot now, Alex. Give oh. us an interesting fact. Um, you know the, the most basic sound in the English language, and it's in almost every language, is huff. 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 And it's represented by an upside down sort of E. An upside down E? Yep, and it's called a schwa. A schwa? A schwa. It'd be um, funny if it sounded like that as well. That would make laughter very different. A comedy show would be a whole different box of frogs. <laughs> More importantly, that symbol is only used in the International Phonetic Alphabet, which is an alphabet of a lot of characters. I can't remember how many. And it includes so you can write things in any language. Wipe out! A team wipe out. While he's remote. talking as well. I was hoping that I was distracting him talking about this. It's oh no, lang language focuses the mind. I'm going to need eye contact from you, Alex. Yeah, just for a little bit longer. Just. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. For anyone who's just joined us, we're playing Splatoon 3, and this is Turf War. That means the aim of the game here is not to splat people, that's useful, but the aim of the game is to cover as much turf, as much of the ground, with your colour ink. And the team with the most ink coverage on the map by the end of the three minute timer wins the round. It's a best of three. On your right, we have the Nintendo Life team. Wipe out! Our big bats. And on your left, we have our final team of contenders. Give them some energy, Woo! ladies and gentlemen. 30 seconds remaining. Oh, who's using a splat leg? I love you. And calls to push up onto the enemy side. There's not much time left. Count it with me. Ten, Ten five, nine, eight, eight, seven, six, six five, four, three, three two, two, one. one. Which way this is going? I genuinely don't know which way this is going. Got to see the map. That's oh, I think that's theirs. That, is that orange? Oh, yeah. oh my goodness. Five point three percent. That was too close to call. That's the closest right, uh, <coughs> round we've seen so far. It was that last wipeout. It makes a huge difference. If you take out the enemy team, you're on a post. You can ink as much as you like. You can have a pina colada as you're doing. <laughs> Can't do that in game. Nor on stage here at Nor on side. stage, no. But after hours is starting to. After hours, pina coladas all around. Pina <laughs> coladas all around. They're on, Alex! That's what you said earlier, Elliot, wasn't it? Everyone in the crowd, you're going to get them a pina colada. 
Uh, yeah, absolutely. Where's the back end? And off he goes. Through the fire escape. Off on another Pina Colada adventure. So we have a very, very narrow victory for our team of challengers. Can they do it again? They need to do it one more time. Come on! You've got this! So as is, um, as is tradition with Paul and myself, the last match of any Splatoon thing, <laughs> we go buckets. We go buckets? Slushes. We have, we have strange names for everything. You don't want to see us play Salmon Run. We don't use any of the standard names. Salmon Run? Oh, I can salmon kind run. of imagine what that is from salmon all the time you're Salmon Run is the co-op mode in Splatoon 3, where you have to fight off hordes of salmonids. Sadly, we're not going to see it today, but if that sounds interesting to you, look up Salmon Run. We don't even call it Salmon Run when we're talking in Discord. We call it Fish Job. <laughs> fish what? Fish job. Fish job? As opposed to salmon run. Fish, it's job. fish job. Very creative. Salmon run does sound interesting to me. I'm going to be watching videos of that tonight. Synonyms are my second favourite thing. My first favourite thing is pomegranates, which nobody seems to know about. Pomegranates? Pomegranates. Is that like a graph that looks similar to another graph? Uh, no, it means graph is in graphological, meaning written. And a homograph is a pair of words, or a well, one word, way. a pair of homographs. Two words that are spelled in exactly the same way, but pronounced differently and have different meanings. Right, like, oh, tears and tears! Yeah. Yeah. I heard that the crowd as well, tears and yeah. tears. This guy's on it. Ready for a game of Mastermind. <laughs> <laughs> this is the only time I get to use my degree, let me have this. Could be the final round here, Alex. So I'm going to distract you as much as is humanly possible. We have our contenders in the blue ink. Slightly purple? I don't know, they should never have had a colorblind host on this game. <laughs> and they're up against the yellow Nintendo Live team. And it looks like they're doing a very good job. <laughs> I can't, I can't tell it back with my team, so I'm just going to be saying things like, Wave Breaker. Wave Breaker. They're pushing hard. They're pushing very hard. Oh, you can see all of the contenders in getting right up to the Nintendo Life respawn point. Our big bads are going to need to get a wipeout if they're going to make up this deficit. Oh! Oh! That is an ink bar. That's a rough hour here. Arrow spray is a menace. This train has one destination, Struggle Town, population, these four players. <laughs> 15 seconds left, surely it's too late. Surely it's too late for the comeback. 10, Ten 9, nine eight, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Have they done it? Have they done it? I got some, I got some ink strikes off at the end there. Oh. They pulled it back. I was all purple. That was a very good game. That was down to the wire. And now we see how quickly this can swing. I thought that was done. I thought that was in the books. Rematch! 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 <laughs> we have something we hadn't seen yet on stage here at the EGX Live. And that is a deciding match. Our contenders took game one and the Nintendo Live team took game two. This is for all <laughs> the marbles. For all of the paintings right yes, now. as they say in Splatoon 3, all the marbles. <laughs> all the marbles now on the line in game number three, our third and final round. Things are about to get interesting. Sim. This bumps all round the team captain. Motivation is very important. What are you going to do differently coming into round three? Attack. Attack. Were you playing more defensive that round? No, just perhaps not as well as usual, but this time we'll attack hard. Okay, okay, confident. You're confident? You can take oh! it. Yeah. 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 I noticed, Elliot, you haven't interviewed me yet. 
But frankly, I'm a little hurt. Do you know what? We're going we're to come round. We're going to come all the way round. Sorry, I'm going to squeeze past and try not to fall off the stage. And we, we're going to interview Sasha. <laughs> Sasha, how are you doing? Are you, are you excited about this? Oh, yeah, definitely. You've managed to take a team of adults <laughs> all the way to game three. So that, that's a personal best for you guys uh, up here. Uh, what it's are you going to do? Are you gonna, what tactics did you utilize there that are going to win you this game? Ink everything. Ink everything. Everything. That is the name of the game. Thank you so much, Sasha. Appreciate you. I'm going to try not to die as I walk around the stage. Okay, there we go. We're at the safety zone now. Sasha is our resident home turf inker. The angry have won too many games because of her diligence inking every blinking corner of the home turf. You'd be surprised how often people overlook it, and you'd be surprised how often it makes a difference. Very, very important to have someone paying attention to the bits we don't normally see. Oh, we're getting in game! Ladies and gentlemen, our contenders need your energy one more time. Oh, I don't think that's enough. Come on, give them some energy, make some noise! This is gonna be tense. Things can change. I understand so we're giving our tactics away, but I have to say this. Paul, we're going to move together as a bucket team. A bucket team? That's intimidating. Oh, a very good start for our challenges. They are the team in yellow. But we saw the same thing in round two, and it wasn't enough. Right up until the final 10 seconds, they were very, very far in the lead. But it didn't stop our Nintendo Life team from coming back. And here they are, pushing back into the middle of the map once again. It's very quiet up on the stage. Everyone's focused. Locked in. And ready to splash some Nintendo Life players. Alex, I'm a really big fan of the top-down view that lets you see the entire map and the coverage. It's not something I'm used to seeing in games. No, it's lovely, isn't it? It gives you a really quick way to see who is in charge. And right now, it is very close, but I'm pretty sure the challengers are in the lead. That's one of the really fun things about Splatoon, though, is you can look and you can sort of think, I think they're in the lead, but you never know entirely for sure when it comes to turtle. The human eye struggling to differentiate chaos and that magnitude. One minute left of Splatoon and three. Things are getting very, very, very tense. One final push could be enough to win the game for either side. It is currently one to one. This is the deciding round. And if you want to see our challengers win, make some noise. Yeah! Twenty-five seconds left on the clock. is flying. The clock is ticking down. It's the final countdown. I don't know who's in charge anymore. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I have no it's idea. Gonna be, it's going to be close. I have it's no gonna idea. Be very, very close. close. Oh, that's got to be our challenges. Oh, I think that's got to be our challenges. Oh. Yeah! Absolutely superb. Oh, don't oh. leave me hanging. And the sportsmanship ah. as well. Oh, here I go. What a magnificent team. Sid. Oh, what a, what a rush. What a Mad game, Splatoon. Take a bow, Sid. What a win in game three. The whole team, come and take a bow.